In the previous lesson, we went through the different types of domain names and domain names registrars. In this lesson, we will be looking at web hosting providers and the different types of web hostings. As discussed in the earlier video, a web host is a business that provides the technology and services needed for the website to be viewed on the internet. Some examples of web host company will include SiteGround, HostGator, Exabyte, and Vodian. Within the web host, there are four different types of hosting plans. They are share hosting, cloud hostings, VPS hosting, and dedicated servers. Share hosting is an arrangement where several websites are kept on the same server. This website shares the same bandwidth and disk space. This is usually recommended for all types of websites as it's usually the cheapest hosting plan, range at around $20 per month. However, share hosting plans only allow one cPanel, which is a control panel that helps to manage the web host server. Cloud hosting is another type of share server, but these server are able to adjust resources depending on your needs. So if you have a peak period of traffic, you could allocate bandwidth or combinate. You are also able to use multiple cPanels on the cloud hosting. With a VPS, virtual private server, you will still share a server but have allocated server resources such as bandwidth and disk space. You are also able to create multiple cPanels on the hosting. Lastly, we have dedicated server. Now this means that you have the server all to yourself. You have dedicated resources, allocated bandwidth and disk space. If you are able to create multiple cPanel and scale up on the root level access. Due to its complexity in managing the server, I do not recommend the use of VPS or dedicated servers for websites. For now, let me go through SiteGround and the different servers they offer. So this is SiteGround, right? So you got the hosting, web hosting. So for SiteGround, you pay about $3.99 per month for the first year, and then the second year onwards, you pay about $15 per month. So $3.99, which is $4, so USD is about $7 per month, right? $7 times 12, you pay about maybe $80. So if you want to use a Singapore server, instead of paying $17, you pay about $80, right? Per year, around that first year, first year. Second year, it's more expensive. Second year, it's 15 times 12, which is about 17 times 12, which is about $30, uh, $300. Over dollars, uh. Okay, $300 on the second year plus the domain is still cheap, so it's three, uh, three, $310. Uh. So we average to $300. Even the second year, if you are using Singapore server, you only pay $300, right? The first year, we talk about the first year first. Uh, the first year, if you use a Singapore server, you pay about like maybe $80 plus or $10, maybe $100 per year. Versus your closed source, uh, you pay about $500 to $1,000. That's about almost like at least two times differences, at least five times differences of, of, of cost that you pay for it. So this is why open source, right? Uh, in the long run, it's actually much cheaper than uh, the closed source itself. Now, however, open source, um, um, the closed source itself, like Wix or Shopify, right, they offer uh, another feature which is uh, quite uh, attractive. They offer the uh, drag and drop builder, right, whereby you can drag and drop the item. You in the next session, as mentioned during my demonstration, we will be going through what is a CDN.